Dolphins GM Chris Greer has done a masterful job of leveraging assets for more draft picks. He could have more moves to make. Or maybe he's already made his moves. Maybe. Via the blockbuster trades from four weeks ago that resulted in the Dolphins moving from number 3 to number 12 and then to number 6, the Dolphins still have their eyes on a tight end, obviously Kyle Pitts. When news broke of the first trade, which saw the Dolphins drop from number 3 to number 12, many, me included, assumed that it meant they won't be taking a quarterback to potentially supplant Tua Tungavailoa. That perception didn't change when the Dolphins gave up a future first-round pick to jump back to number 6. But recently pro football has come up with a crazy idea, which makes Dolphins fans extremely angry and provokes a strong wave of protest. Pro football stated that, maybe it should have, maybe it still should, if the Dolphins have decided that Trey Lance and Justin Fields represent significant upgrades over Tungavailoa, one of them most likely will be available at number 6. And the Dolphins surely know that. With the Bengals, who most likely won't trade out of the number 5 spot, they never trade down, not taking a quarterback, at least one of those two quarterbacks will be available, with the worst case scenario being that Mac Jones will be on the board if the 49ers take, for example, Fields and the Falcons then take Lance, Mike Florio of Pro Football said. Based on Nat FL's personal opinion, perhaps Pro Football was mistaken about Tua Tungavailoa. As with all pre-draft pressers, a lot of it was smoke and mirrors. But one thing is very clear, whether you've been Team Tua Tungavailoa from day one or have been sitting by the wayside waiting to say I told you so, this is Tua Tungavailoa's team. And everything he's shown Chris Greer and the Dolphins this offseason leads them to believe the best is yet to come. Here's what Greer said when asked if they're looking to find playmakers that complement QB Tua Tungavailoa. Yeah. I think especially when you're picking where we are picking, you're always looking at your team and Tua is a big part of that. So as we build around and what we're doing, yeah, you're always looking at what your quarterback does best. But you're also looking at weighing that versus the best player that is available for your team because at the end of the day, it's always about the team. It's not about one player, one pick, one person. You've heard Brian, Brian, Flores, talk about team first players that fit right. For us, it is, it's just looking for the right player, the right person, the right fit for our team as well as the mesh with the quarterback. Greer continued to praise Tua Tungavailoa. The communication has been great. He's been around. He's been working hard. I know he's been working with the receivers. He's a very competitive kid as you know. I think coming off the injury last year with no OTAs, no minicamp and just being thrown in right away, that is a hard transition, especially with the rehab part he was doing. He's healthy now. I've seen a couple of videos, I'm not on social media very much. He's been working very hard. Our guys have been around and popped in and out here. He's been great with the players and the receivers have been working. Like I said, he's going to take the next steps. He's been a winner everywhere he's been and I'm really excited for him to have an offseason under his belt. I think that will be really really important for him. None of this is revolutionary, and we can all agree Tua Tungavailoa must play better in 2021. But I, like Chris Greer, Expect to see the same quarterback many of us fell in love with at Alabama behind center this season. And don't forget, Tua's team always wins the champion trophy. In Tua Tungavailoa we trust. Do you believe in Tua Tungavailoa? Comment below.